This video is about AC and DC, and on my oscilloscope, the red line represents the DC, and the blue line represents the AC, which is currently off. I could call it Peak and RMS. That would be a good other title. I have here a battery pack, and I'm using it to make this bulb light up with DC. I set it to be almost exactly 3 volts. We can see that on the oscilloscope screen, 3 volts. Now, I'm going to turn up the AC, which is set to quite a high frequency, so you can't really see it flashing. And hopefully, you'll see it increasing on the oscilloscope screen, and you'll see the bulb just beginning to glow. Now, my question is, what value of AC do I need to make the bulbs glow at the same brightness? Well, at the moment, they're clearly not the same brightness. This is much dimmer, but the AC is a lot smaller value. Let's increase it until the AC is touching the red line so now the AC and the DC are the same maximum value the peak level of the AC is the same as the DC 3 volts are the balls the same brightness? no they're not the same brightness and therefore we obviously need to have a little bit more AC and if we keep going up to about and it's, you have to judge this by eye it's quite difficult to do the camera plays tricks but to me now, in the lab, they look about the same brightness. And you can see that to achieve that, the ACs had to go quite a lot higher than the DC. Let's read what value it is. And it's about 4.19, 4.2 volts. So get rid of the oscilloscope and label this one as 4.2 volts and then let's see if we can add any of our theory into place so we should know that the AC value is represented by the peak voltage which in this case is 4.2 volts and we have an equivalent DC voltage which in this case is 3 volts and those create an equivalent lighting effect therefore 4.2 volts AC is equivalent to 3 volts DC this value here is what we call the RMS value. It stands for root mean square. It's the average. And the equation that links them together is quite straightforward. We should be able to find that the peak voltage is equal to the RMS voltage times by the square root of 2, as long as we're using a sine wave. If you use a square wave, it's different. So let's try out those values and see if they actually work. So what we'll do is we'll take our calculator and we'll do our RMS voltage which is 3 we'll multiply it by the square root of 2 you've got to love this calculator and it tells me it's equal to 3 root 2 thanks a lot for that but if we convert it it actually shows it's 4.2 volts which is exactly what we found in our experiment and therefore the peak voltage of an AC signal is equivalent to a DC voltage called the RMS voltage and you get it by multiplying the RMS voltage by root 2.